active shooter this morning at Mount Horeb Middle School. Now, according to the school district, this morning there was an active shooter outside of their building this morning. They put the school on lockdown. Police were called into the scene, and the shooter was neutralized outside of the building, never able to break through and gain entry. This is the scene where it all unfolded in the street right between the middle school and the high school here in Mount Horeb. Tactical teams were called in. They were sent into the school to make sure that everybody was safe and that there was no other suspects in the building. Once that was determined, investigators put out another update that said uh, that they had determined that the school was safe, that the uh, alleged assailant had been neutralized outside of the building and nobody inside of the building had been hurt. While this was going on, a few miles away, it looks like parents were waiting to be reunited with their students. You can see at a business about a mile, two miles away from the scene, they are waiting for that process to take place. Above Mount Horeb in News Chopper 12, Matt Salemi, WISN 12 News. Just after 11 this morning in Mount Horeb in Dane County, west of Madison. 12 News Nick Bohr is there live. Nick, the school says students are safe and that the threat has been, quote, neutralized. And Patrick, we are here waiting for an official update from Mount Horeb Police. The village board here just moments ago confirming this was an active shooter situation, but that the shooter did not make it inside the middle school. The school district here it says the gunman was, quote, neutralized when they tried to enter the school. Did you say rifle is recovered with the suspect? Yes, 6024. Thank you. Rifle recovered with the suspect at 11.23 hours. As of right now, the suspect is in custody and they have recovered a gun. Police dispatch confirming a suspect in custody and rifle recovered. The superintendent of Mount Horeb School District alerted parents to an active shooter at the middle school just after 11, saying the individual never got in the school and no students were hurt, but the threat was neutralized. Video from News Chopper 12 showing what appears to be a shooting scene near the main entrance. Police have been methodically searching school grounds ever since, just in case, while students remained in what the school district calls a hard lockdown. One parent who lives near the school described the chaos after gunfire could be heard coming from the school just down the street. There were lots of sirens and flashing lights and police and lots of activity, Fra frantic parents parking. You can see how they've parked and I don't blame them. Um, uh, frantic parents not knowing what's going on. One of my daughters are still inside of the middle school as, as we speak. But um, all we know is that there were some kids that went to shoot. It's kind of, yeah, it's really hard. Scary. Yeah, it really is. Scary. To get a call when you're at work from your babies crying, saying that there's a shooting going on and we're scared and you're 30 minutes away from them a terrifying situation. Nick, officers are there from all over Dane yeah. County still assisting with that yeah. search. Any indication when the middle school will be released? Not yet, Patrick. The district in a Facebook post within the hour said that although the lockdown continues at the middle school, staff and students, quote, remain safe, but won't be released until the investigation they say is finished on site. The superintendent writing, quote, rest assured, all those in decision-making roles are working as quickly as possible. Nick Bohr in Mount Horeb tonight. And Governor Tony Evers posted on social media he had been briefed and was monitoring the situation at the school closely, writing he was praying for the safety of kids and staff and grateful for the first responders on the scene. Meantime, back here in the U.S. tonight, reports of an active shooter outside of middle school. Police say a 14-year-old possibly armed with a rifle. That school put on lockdown for a time and then authorities moving in on that teenager. ABC's Pierre Thomas with what we've learned so far on this Wisconsin case. Tonight, the small community of Mount Horb, Wisconsin, shaken after reports of an active shooter headed toward a middle school. Reports of shots fired at the school. Children and staff fleeing. The school put on lockdown. Sources telling ABC News shortly after noon, police encountered a 14-year-old with what appeared to be a rifle. Police racing to the scene. The gunman did not breach the school, but police say he was neutralized in a confrontation with officers. So the, there is one injury, it's going to be the suspect. Images all too familiar. Today, nervous parents waiting, SWAT teams, emergency vehicles, and a dead body. 
This has been a shock. I mean, so scary. It's devastating to hear what's going on, you know. Um, I'm t texting my son right now. He was barricaded in the classroom. They stopped that, but there's still lockdowns. I don't want no kid to go through what's going on, nor parents go through this. Parents and police understandably shaken. The fear real, as mass shootings have become routine in this country, even at schools. No one forgetting Uvalde and many others like Parkland and Newtown. Police have not released any information on the suspect, whose sources say is a juvenile. David, that town is traumatized tonight, but grateful no one else was injured. We are to Pierre Thomas tonight. Pierre, thank you. There's a shooter in my school, um, and I said, is it a drill? And he said, no, it's not a drill. And I just, it's the worst nightmare I can ever imagine as a mom. I think the teachers did a good job of, you know, keeping them safe, keeping them entertained, fed. So I think they just are, want to come home. This is a safe community with good families, and I just think if something can happen, here, it could happen anywhere. I can't imagine a better place to raise kids. And a representative from our Office of School Safety. Uh, the Division of Criminal Investigation at the Wisconsin Department of Justice is now leading an investigation into the entirety uh, of the incident that took place earlier today in Mount Horeb. Um, we will be releasing information as quickly as we're able to in a way that doesn't interfere with the ongoing investigation. So here's what we're able to provide at this point in time. Since late this morning, uh, the Mount Horeb School District has been locked down due to a safety threat. Police officers from the Mount Horeb Police Department uh, responded to a report of an individual with a weapon outside the middle school. Uh, police officers responded to that threat and they used deadly force. This incident took place outdoors. Uh, the subject in this case never gained entry to the school building during the incident. Uh, and the subject was a student in the Mount Horeb School District. Um, while the investigation into the details of this incident is ongoing, um, other than the subject, no other people were physically injured during this incident. Uh, again, the investigation is ongoing and there will be more details to come as we move forward. Uh, law enforcement is and continues to vigorously investigate this incident. Uh, for a period of time today, th today there was concern that there was an ongoing threat uh, related to this incident. Uh, we currently believe that there is no ongoing threat to public safety. Um, but again, this is an ongoing investigation, and we will update the public if any additional threat to safety is discovered. Uh, reunification between students and parents uh, is ongoing. Uh, the safety of students and school staff is our number one priority. Uh, and we want to thank the parents and community members in Mount Horeb for their patience as this process took place to ensure the safety of, of students and school staff. Uh, in addition to the Division of Criminal Investigation, uh, DOJ's Office of School Safety is responding to provide additional support to the Mount Horeb School District, uh, and I'll say a few more words about that uh, in a moment, uh, but now I'm gonna turn it over to Superintendent Steve Salerno for additional information. Good evening and thank you for being assembled here tonight. My name is Steve Salerno. I'm the superintendent here in Mount Horeb. If there's a story to be told here today, it's a story of an amazing staff that have rallied in support of our beautiful children and a community that envelops and holds their children and their schools in high esteem, as they should. We, of course, lift our prayers 
to all who have been impacted by today's events. And um, we think it's best that tomorrow we take a, a beat, we take a rest, uh, and we open up our schools to students and staff for support. Um, and we're thankful for the Office of School Safety who continues to do wonders around the entire state. Um, and they will be uh, lending their hand and support along with many others who've reached out to help us here today. It is our hope based upon uh, the tone and tenor of those visits with our students and staff that we can bring students and staff back to school on Friday. We'll have a decision on that at some point here in the near future. Um, but at this point, uh, we are ready to roll up our sleeves and work shoulder to shoulder with uh, our amazing law enforcement and first responders who came to help support and protect our young people and their loving and dedicated staff. Um, we are beyond grateful for your leadership uh, today. Um, and we hope to at some point to begin the process of engaging our parents and community uh, about questions that they may have germane to school safety. I will say this that had it not been for our community stepping up to the plate to help support capital and operational referendums that allowed us to install um, safety measures, um, including vestibules, uh, locked front doors and the like, um, this could have been a far worse tragedy. Uh, and we're beyond grateful for the community support of our, of our beautiful children and their loving staff. Thank you. Um, so as I mentioned before, this is an, an ongoing investigation, uh, and that's part of the role that DOJ will be playing through our Division of Criminal <coughs> Investigation. Um, I want to thank all